Argentavis are flighty little so-and-sos that for some reason love to inhabit dangerous locations. That's why I decided to design an Argentavis trap that's easy to build, simple to use and works automatically without doors so that everyone on a server can use it. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I came up with. Let's get cracking. I really think as I'm Toast Bloke and I'm back in Ark Survival Ascended to show you my Argent Tavis trap design or should I say my RG trap design. Now what's good about this is it is super simple to build. You only need 10 structures and also it works automatically meaning you don't have to operate any doors or anything. You just run right through and the Argent Tavis will get trapped. Now I'm going to break this video into three parts. One, I'm going to show you how to use the trap. The second, I'm going to show you how to build it. And third, I'm going to show you some modifications you might like to make to improve the trap further. But we'll get to that when we get to that. I have an Argent Tavis over here in a pen. I'm hoping that it will aggro onto me when I let it out. Let's see. I'm here. Are you coming? Yeah, great. And I'm just going to run. And all you do is you run over of the trap and through the trap. Hopefully it's on my tail. It is. And if you just sprint up to the top of the ramp and stand still, the archer will fly right in and get trapped. You can even tame it from up here if you want, but I find it's easier to jump down to the side and trunk it from there. Now, you would think that because the orgy's got in there, that it would be able to get out. It can, but it has to be on a very, very precise angle. So it's very tricky. As long as you keep this aggroed on you, or trying to escape from you, it should stay in the trap. That is because when you stand on the ramp up here, it gets the RG on the perfect flight path to fit below that roof and above the doorway. If you don't stand in that location on the ramp, this will not work. So it's very, very precise, but it should work every time as long as you are stood on this top ramp or nearabouts when you try and get this. So there we go, we've got it trapped. I'm now going to show you how to build the trap. Right then, I'm gonna build this in the exact same place, just a few foundations along, and all I'm going to be using is one stone foundation, three stone roofs, and six stone walls. It is a super simple build, so let's grab out the foundation. I'm going to pop this down and lower it all the way to the ground. You don't have to do that, but it is best because you want a bit of run onto the ramp on this. I didn't do that with this build, just to show you, and you'll notice I've had to put a ramp in front of the doorway. Either or works, but this is the way to do it with the least number of structures. After that, you wanna get out your roof and switch it to a ramp. And you're just gonna run that up in the direction you want to run into your trap. You're then gonna add another one to the top of that. And you will end up with this ramp like so. From there, we're going to start building the cage and you're gonna need a wall. We're gonna change the wall into a double door frame and put one on the lower ramp. So you should be able to see where that is there. We're then going to put two on one side of the foundation and then repeat that on the opposite side. And that will give us our cage for the trap. The cage needs a ceiling though, so we're going to go back to the stone roof and use the ramp again and just snap that to the double door frame dead ahead, front and center of the ramp. And that creates and finishes off the trap section. Now all we need is to do the entrance for us, which will force the RG over the top and allow us to run through and that is just a normal door you need to use the normal door because that little bit of wall at the top actually stops the rg getting out if you use a double door frame its feet can slip through the gap and that allows it to escape so make sure that you are using a normal door not one that goes all the way to the top of the wall and that is the trap built that is how it works so just to prove it we're going to go and get another rg but this time i'm going to do it on my pteranodon toasty here because i want to prove that you can also do this on a team i know that some people don't feel comfortable running through on foot so let's get that to aggro and then we're just going to kite this rg over to the trap and instead of going through the bottom we want to fly through the top or not apparently we can do that as well um i don't know what i did then but the rg ended up in there anyway <laughs> so you don't even have to fly through oh my god let's try that again but do it properly this time what on earth you aggro on me, please, and follow me across here. 
Now, because I've put the trap low to the ground, I'm staying low to the ground. And I'm just going to fly in through the trap and park on the end. And the RG will come through. You need to stay low to the ground. Otherwise, the RG will just go over the roof. But it is doable. As you can see, that is trapped just like I trapped it when I ran through. So you can use both methods with this, although I prefer just running through on foot. But there we go, the RG is trapped. So what I'm gonna do now is just get this tamed just to show you that it does stay in the trap as long as you're nearby. Look at it trying its best to get out. I'm just gonna pop some trank darts into it when they decide to start firing. I'm trying not to glitch into my Tyranodon. But as you can see, this is well and truly trapped in here. Like I say, it can get out if you let it relax you want to keep it agitated it doesn't matter if it's coming for you or trying to get away from you but it doesn't tend to fly on the angle required to escape unless it is chill so just don't let it chill stay nearby obviously if you leave the area it's going to chill and it's going to leave the trap so you've kind of got to do the tame while you are on it We'll just keep pounding this it is a 150 so it's going to take a little bit of time but hopefully not too much time should have probably spawned something in, like a real nice ascendant one. Then we would have had this down in no time. But already, it looks like it's given up. It's struggling away. And I can move around this trap with no problems. It's not going to come out. Although, I do recommend not walking around where the opening is. Just to keep it aggroed away from that. Like I say, things can get out. It's very unlikely. Watch it happen now. No one my luck. Come on. You going to go down? It's going to keep... Smashing these in here. It's inevitable. You just need to let it happen. Just let it happen. Here's me saying, don't go around to the entrance. And where am I? I'm at the entrance. Let's get this done. Come on, man. I should have maybe spawned in a lower level. There we go. And we have our Origin Tavis down, knocked out, and ready to tame. So what I'm going to do now is just grab some prime meat, come back, get this tamed, and then I'll show you how to get it out of the trap. So there it is, my Origin Tavis is tamed, is up. I'm just going to squeeze through this door here and get it saddled up and show you how to get it out of the trap. Because you can't just fly straight out. If I try and fly out, it won't work. That's what makes this trap so good. It is a very precise angle that the RG has to enter and exit the trap on. Now, to be honest, to get out, all you have to do is fly up to the top and then gradually look down and the RG will pop out of the trap like so. I'll try and show you how to get in, not that you're going to want to, but just to prove how difficult it is. Flying in doesn't work, you've got to get that angle, and looking down and moving around will pop you in, even though it is an absolute hassle. But like I say, it's that angle, that precise angle, that makes this trap work. So I just thought you might like to see that. Now, as promised, I'm going to quickly show you a couple of things you can do to make this trap a little bit better depending on how you want to use it. Now, one of the things I've noticed is when you lure or kite an RG in here, if you don't stand on the very top edge of the ramp, you can get hit and you can get hurt. So I've got an optional bit here. You might want to grab a ceiling and just pop it there. And as long as you run up and stand on this ceiling near enough the edge, the RG won't be able to hit you, but it will still end up in the trap so that is one little modification you can make another is putting some walls around the outside edge of the trap now you can use quarter walls like so and these do a couple of things well it does one thing and potentially helps with another i seemed to get the effect of not getting hit so much when i was stood on this ramp when i had quarter walls under the front here as if they were preventing the rg from kicking but on other occasions, it still did. So that is one reason you might want to put some quarter walls under here. And then you can put walls around the side so that if any saber tooth or hyenodons come, they can't actually attack your RG while it's down until you get a chance to defend the area. I would even recommend, if you want, you can actually put a full wall in here. There's no harm. Just replace that bottom there, like so, with a full wall. And that will help protect them as well. You'll get your RG in there, it'll get trapped in, and it won't be able to get hurt from little creatures knocking about the area. Now, if that is something you are concerned about, it might be worth grabbing a door 
and just popping that in there too. Not because it helps trap the orgy, but just because it can stop things getting in and attacking it while it's down. I'd recommend, just from experience, changing this to always out so that it opens this way because I haven't tested it, but my concern is it would give the orgy the boost it needs to get up and out of the trap somehow. It might not, but I've played Ark enough to know that that could be a problem. And finally, there's one more thing I'd recommend changing, and that would be grabbing another stone ramp and trying to get it on top of the one that's already up there on the ceiling like so because what that will do is when i was having issues at points trying to guide things into some of my chop designs just extending a ramp out like that kites and forces the rg down into the trap so it kind of works as a way of funneling or catching the rg a little bit better but as you can see these modifications just start making the trap look ridiculous which is why i wanted to go for something that used minimal structures but worked automatically and was completely functional which is why this is the trap design that i've gone for and i'm super happy with it i think it's worked out good and as you can see it definitely works you can kite things in on foot you can kite them in on pteranodon automatically and that means i could have any friend who isn't in my tribe run in get an rg to kite come through here bop They've got it they can tame it and it can't get out unless you let it relax as far as i'm aware that's what testing shows but that's the trap that's how it works and so therefore that is the video wrapped up so i'm going to call that there guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial i hope you found it useful if you have please remember to like subscribe and ring the notification bell it does wonders for my channel and i really do appreciate the mad support that i've been getting thank you so so much as well as that, there are links in the description I would love you to check out, including the Discord. It would be great to have you be part of the community and to get to know you a little bit more. But until next time, you guys take care and I'll catch you later. Chario.